are studying it very carefully in its historical setting, I think as decisively as Christ cleansed the temple, he made some remarkable changes um, for women and children, which then healed families and relationships and marriages. And we see a totally different world in the um, apostolic church than we do here. However, if we're only looking for a conquering Messiah instead of a babe born in Bethlehem, we will also miss... Um, the suffering servant, which is exactly what happened in the Jewish world. Um, they were expecting a conquering Messiah, and so they missed who came. So as you look at the New Testament text, even though I just barely said he, he was valiant in his, in his taking out the machete and chopping down all this bad, um, the truth is a lot of the things he did um, were planting seeds. And I think he sowed seeds that took years to germinate. And someone was asking me the other day, why has it taken Christianity so long to value families and women and children? Well, I said, I think it's because no one was reading the Bible for about 14, 15, 1600 years. And if you're only looking at the stained glass windows and hearing the mass not in your language, it's hard to know some of these stories that are so empowering. And I think once we got a generation that was reading the Bible, and then we have Protestantism that, uh, that encourages it, and then we have Massachusetts that has 98% literacy rate, we start developing a country that says, wait a minute, why aren't women voting? Why can't women have children after the divorce? Why can't women, you know, I mean, all these things come to pass in a, because of those social seeds that were planted in the New Testament by our Savior and maintained by the apostolic church who actually recorded them. So anytime you say, well, Jesus said it, but I don't know about his apostles. Well, who wrote it down? It's the apostolic church that's writing down. They're choosing. Luke has 50% of his stories are female, 50% are male. There is no short terms on ladies in the Lucan Gospel. 